true. He came without stew. He doesn't complain about stew. He's able to buy the oil. <laughs> Pick up a bit stew. If he could not afford to prepare the stew, he would have heard about it. These days, he's able to buy the oil, buy chinalu, and fish. You... Yes, he buys all of it. Together, they are representing the NDC Youth Forum. Hmm. They say they want to clear some misconceptions. And they are also planning a press conference that is coming up next week. That is why they are here. Gentlemen, you're welcome to the studios of Star FM. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope you're all well. By the grace of God, you're all fine. Eh? Yes. We thank we thank God for but just that the negative <laughs> happiness in the country is not really making us happy. Mm. I'm not and surprised. We are here to just make sure that the right things are done. Okay, okay, yep. okay, okay. All uh, right. Yeah. In the first place, um, mm -hmm. you talked about you full at heart. Yes. Uh, that is somehow true. Okay. Because let's say those days that uh, were in opposition. Okay. On that this was in 2000, uh, 2000. Yeah. yeah. Year first, 2000. First first rule. 2000. Okay. You realize? That's 24 years ago. Thank you so much. Okay. So you realize at that time we were youthful. We were youthful. We were youthful. Uh, and we were gathered together, the, the dedicated one, committed ones. Mm -hmm. We had to form this youth forum. Okay. Group. That bettered some of uh, our some of our leaders today, like uh Okuyato Ablakwa, oh, Felix okay. Oposu Kwachi, then mm. Kwete, now general secretary of the party. In fact, he commended the the the, the, the group. <laughs> and we did so well for the NDC in winning two thousand and eight election. And this time around, seeing how things are going, okay. we can't sit back. So we need to come out to talk about the rot. For instance, that's why we said Ghana is temporarily sick on that. His Excellency Nanadu Dankwa Akufu Ado. What kind of sickness? For instance, just imagine this thing that is going on. The Galamse, mm -hmm. which has turned our natural water bodies that we are too colorless in a way. Now, turn brandishing color, carrying what they call it, so many diseases because of the chemicals that they use. Like mercury and all those things, giving cancer, kidney failure, and all those things. Then even babies that are giving birth to, they don't have the normal, what do you call it, eyes, hand, and all those things. Mm. So it's a concern to us. And in part of the country, we have shortages of water. What is happening? We told Nanado. Make sure, after you declare that you put your presidency on the line, act now. Mm. But he failed, put all to be frank with you. Mm. He went to sleep and see what is happening now. Again, some, something like, can you imagine in our own country, COVID came. You remember COVID time? They get, instead of them giving what they call it, uh, this job that they give to uh, a Nigerian company that unknown up to, up to Nana did they, We've asked questions upon questions on who gave contract to that Nigerian company that made so much profit, over $80 million profit mm -hmm. at Kotuka International Airport. And Ghana just had only less than $8 million. Mm. Up to now, we are here to know the company. What is happening? You go to Ministry of What You Call Health, they don't know. You go to what they call it, uh, uh, Foreign Affairs Ministry, they don't know. Even presidents is not talking. Meanwhile, we have no Gucci. We, Noguchi could have made so much money, that $80 million, they could have expanded their, what do you call it, uh, their network mm -hmm. to the benefit of the nation. But here we are. Okay. I mean, it's too bad. Mm -hmm. Then again, see the Attorney General. Just okay. one minute so that I can go to yes. my other, my other brothers. Mm -hmm. The Attorney General, Ghana's lawyer, who is supposed to know better when it came to Jakba and what they call it, uh, Honorable Atu Forces case, we had him coaching Jakba to jail an innocent citizen like Hon uh, Honorable Atu Forces. Now they did. Coaching Jakba is criminal in itself. By now, I don't think there shouldn't be in that position right that, now. That, that issue is still, um, is still being proved, isn't it? It's still being proved, but we have all heard that he was coaching Jakpa. 
Are you getting my point? Mm -hmm. Which is criminal in itself. And this very man that must be arrested or jailed is rather arresting innocent citizens, camp I mean, demonstrating against uh, what are, what, what is that have been polluted by Galamse. Are you getting my point? Mm -hmm. And he's sitting down enjoying himself. All these things, we are not happy about it. And we are calling on all Ghanaians that it is time for us to reset this country. By resetting, we may come 7 December 2024 election. They should vote for number eight, right. Chumama. Let, let's well, a let, better Ghana. Let's Thank hear you from very much. Um, Pastor Robert now. Um, yes, your colleague, who is a spokesperson for the forum, has said a lot. What are the other concerns you also have, reason for which you have embarked on this um, campaign? It is true that Ghana is sick. Mm. I remember in the good book that Nehemiah left Jerusalem to a certain land because their country is destroyed. He came back to come and build the town of Jerusalem. There are some Tobias that attacked. Lo and behold, this young man put the resources and lay a good foundation. Mm. And then Nehemiah was attacked. He put up some things, but things didn't go well. When you wore this 2017 up to now, eight years now, John Muhammad did a lot for this country. When we see Terminal 3 that we are talking about, somebody talk about it. That is the best, the biggest, the the biggest, biggest investment yeah. in nowadays now. That means Jam Mahama did a lot for this country, Ghana. If these eight years we can't see anything, you are destroying our country, destroying uh, our banks, collapse banks. It is very serious. Mm. So when are you going to build for this young one to get a job? You are preaching as a messiah. For, you are going to put up a bank for youth to be employed. What about the one you collapse? Over 600 banks you collapse. When are you going to get the money to put up a new bank for this young one? The youngs are crying for job. The young cannot marry. They cannot even eat a meal a day. So I am telling Ghanaians, especially the young ones, Mahama is still there. He's number eight on the ballot box. Okay. They should go for him mm. and vote number eight. Okay. You have centered your issue on the youth. Um, Pastor Tamaklo? Bishop, uh, it, sorry, Tamaklo. Bishop Tamaklo. Yes, thank you very much. You see, when you ask us that, how are you? <laughs> Though I said, I'm fine by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. And the fact is that it's only the grace that is keeping us today. It looked like as if there are no elders in the country anymore. Mm. And uh, if the youth forum platforms like this don't come out to speak, then I wonder where we are heading to. Um, you remember in 2016 when one was holding 100 Ghana cities, you could buy two bags of rice, you could buy two bags of cement, 24 cities, 24 cities, 16 cities, you could still have change and then go and buy one gallon of fuel from the same hundred Ghana cities and you still have change left. Probably you could buy some oil and maybe some tomatoes for kitchen. Mm. But today, as we speak now, even before you can get one bag of cement, you need to add 10 cities to that hundred Ghana cities before you can get one bag, not two bags of cement too. The rice, forget about it. The oil, forget about it. Even the one gallon of fuel, forget about it. Now, so let me ask, 
what justification can anybody have and say that those who have brought us to where we are should still continue leading us to where we are going to? Mm. I mean, how? We don't even know where we are going to. But what is the guarantee that uh, someone who has also had the chance to govern the country, mm -hmm. uh, what's the guarantee that his return is the ultimate redemption for the country? You see, thank you very much for that question. In a way, we have an adage we say that it is the old ropes upon which you build the new ones. Are you getting it? Yes. What is our track record? We saw it in the days of Professor Tamils. Inflation was 9% in this country. Mm. And even when John Mahama was in power, inflation was very low. Look, one King Kisala was telling me, he said, I don't like MPP. Though I don't vote, but I don't like MPP. And I asked her why. He said, you see, when NDC comes to power, eh, when you go to buy rice, the, the price is always the same. Before they can increase it, uh, uh, maybe one year, even, that, even the difference, do, it will be like maybe, maybe just 50, uh, in, you know, five cities, or maybe four cities. But when MPP comes to power, every little thing increases. Two weeks you go, the price will increase. Three weeks you go, the price will increase. See, these are the things we are talking about. Okay. All right. Um, let me move to Papa Bisu. Yeah. And we'll be wrapping up in the next five minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yes. I had uh, uh, Pastor Robert. Yes. He made a point that a known person in this country was praising the MPS. That's Terminal 3 mm -hmm. at Terminal Habo. Mm -hmm. Let me remind listeners. The name of that person is Dr. Mark Azibe mm -hmm. a renowned economist within the MPP circles. Mm -hmm. He was with as Empire FM OB show. And this question was thrown to him by OB. Ah, he said you are going to do private partnership, something, something. And aren't you the people that are talking we're talking about this private partnership? They say, hey, don't go there, OB. Do you know that the, the biggest and the largest investment in Ghana today is MPS? That's Terminal 3. And whose legacy, like, legacy is, is that? That's John Mame's legacy. So it means that under Nanado's and Baumier's seven plus years, they haven't done anything to for a, a, a renowned MPP person like Mark Isibuya to talk about it, which means that these people have wasted our time. So we are telling the Ghanaians to just come wait in for John Mama. He's okay. done it and he's going to do it again. Again, the last thing that I have to say and correct is about this free SHS that they, they've been bragging about. Not did they listen to me properly. John, my mama, my mama started it progressively with their students not paying school fees. If you had been voted into power, you would have continued with the borders. But Nanado, being that smart, that scammer, that he is. Told Ghanaians that it's coming you, you to do free SHS. You, you can't call the president a scammer. But they were saying you that we, we call the okay. Let me just scammer. let me just re 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 what they call it. Uh, I should like call it restate it yeah. somehow. If somebody says that it's coming to do free SHS, mm -hmm. now they did. He came in, then he started with only from one student. Mm -hmm. That is 2017. From one student, we're not paying school fees. But form two and three, we're paying school fees. Mm -hmm. Is that not a way of scamming those people to vote for him? No, it wasn't a scam. Oh, how? That they did. The fact is, did, did uh, those in form two and three... Yeah, they, had uh, to, they had to do it in phases. That is progressive. Mm. It should have told us that it's coming. Look, and they were saying that we said the free SHS that Nanado promised was 419. And they were using our general secretary. Fifth equities voice to be playing that that's 419. But is it not 419? It's based on the fact that we told Danado that look, what you are going to do can't be done. That's why when he came to power, he quickly had to study progressively. Okay. So we want Ghanaians to know that John Mahama was the first to start progressively free SHS, followed by Danado, because what he did was progressive. Okay. The only person who has done free SHS in this country is our former president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. 
Nanado free SHS is progressive. You media people should call him and ask questions. Ask him whether what he did was it progressive or real free SHS. We are saying that it's progressively free SHS. Okay. You All understand? Right. So let me go to And Ghana shouldn't allow the president okay. to convince them to vote for another person like Baumia who is coming to do nothing but he said he said he made this very point clear when we told him you are in power remove the e levy remove the betting tax he said, ah, but when i remove it, the betting tax and the e levy now when i come to power what am i going to do mm. can you imagine and this person wants to be voted for okay. Ghanaians. let's hear let's from, let's, let's, let's hear from vote for gm on number eight all right so um, you have you have an upcoming press conference correct yes please when is it Mm. Within next week. Within next week. Within, within, next, within, within next week. Yeah. We'll let okay. you know. We don't okay. actually have the day now, but okay. it's within next week. Planning. Okay. Yeah, within and next week. This is, these are some of the issues you'll be touching yeah. on. Yeah, okay. And so. why have you found it necessary to do this? And I'm giving the final word to you, Bishop um, Tamaklo. In fact, it's very, very important because we need to educate the nation against the lies of the MPP. That's okay. very true. Because Mahama is the true driver, he's the chief driver. You see, nowadays, when your car fails on the road, mm. you don't call for a driver's mate. You call for a chief driver. Mm. Okay? So we want to call the nation to attention when that the chief driver... The road, don't you call a mechanic? Mechanic will come, but it is a chief driver that must bring the car back. Okay. Because the okay. driver has failed. Okay. So a chief driver must come, not a mate. Okay. Does it make sense to you? Mm. Yes. So we want to call on all Ghanaians to vote for Joma. Is they should vote for the umbrella. Come December seven. seven. Okay. And the press conference is coming live. Okay. Yes. You are going to touch on these matters. Thank you very much. All right. Other Thank serious, you. serious matters that when you hear it, not the day, mm. you say what? And this happened in the country. You understand? So we, we thank you for hosting us. Yeah. And we hope to come again at your own invitation. Mm. God bless your <laughs> network and keep up the good work. To be frank with you, anytime I hear your voice. Mm. Charlie, the queen of the airwave, not the day, the day, Charlie. You, I call, you, you, I name him Empress. Empress, yes. okay. Thank That's you very yeah. much. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>